Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Few Minutes with Harvey. So for today's video guys, I would like to say sorry to everyone because I am not able to do many vlogs and I'm not able to post anything for the last few weeks. The main reason for this is because we have been transferred to another ward or they allocated me to another ward and I am not yet settled with that. So that's the reason why I am not able to do any vlogs, even a sit down vlog like this. But now, I am really glad because we will be able to do at least like 10 vlogs for the next few weeks. I will be posting starting tomorrow or as you watch this, I am now traveling to Paris because now we will be doing on how to prepare the luggage for my Paris trip 2023. So if you are new to this channel, do not forget to like comment share subscribe and please hit the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest uploads guys please forgive me i i noticed because i've done three other vlogs yesterday and i'm doing the luggage bag vlog for this day and i i noticed that i am quite stuttered when speaking in english i'm trying to expand the community on where so many other or like other nationalities who don't speak Filipino language can also understand the vlog itself. So I'm trying to speak in English as much as I can to ensure that I can deliver all the contents to you properly. But I can promise that I can speak English all throughout the vlog for the next few days, for the next couple of days. Because I think that it's better for me to express my feelings in vernacular and I'll just try to edit it with the caption down here. So now I have here the luggage in front of me and all the things that I needed for the whole Paris trip. So first things first, I will be further discussing the things that I will be uh, bringing to the France and of course I will be discussing the necessary or the guidelines for the Eurostar since we will be using Eurostar going to France instead of taking the plane because of so many reasons that I will be discussing for the next few vlogs. So now I will just cut this so that you won't feel um, dull moments because of course the first thing that I need to bring is all my like pambahay, how do you call it in English? Pajamas. We'll, we'll just call it pajamas even though it's not pajamas. I have here a couple of shorts, couple of shirts, of course, and my undies. Okay, that goes quick because I don't want to show you guys my undies. So I have them here. The next thing that I will be bringing are. I think you can see this. Oh, okay. right. we'll move. I will be bringing this sweater from Forever 21. I will also be bringing the jacket that I bought in Topman. You will just see this, okay? If you if you like to see all the pictures and all the videos, of course, the videos you can see it here on YouTube. And if you guys want to follow us on social media accounts, do not forget to follow me on our Facebook account. It's J-A-N-H-A-R-V-Y. For Instagram, it's J-A-N-H-A-R-V-Y. And for TikTok, it's J-A-N-H-A-R-V-Y 3. John Harvey 3. So you will see all the posts there. But I can promise that I can update you from time to time. You can see most probably some of the stories that's happening within the day. Maybe in Instagram because that's the easiest way for me to post. The vlog will be posted a little bit delayed than usual, of course, because I need to edit it, but I'll try my best. But I already planned it on where to post, on when to post everything. So don't you worry, guys. You will not feel um, delayed for the vlogs because I see to it that every week 
Saturday and Sunday, I am posting two vlogs. One on Saturdays and one on Sundays. To ensure that you can follow through with the with the travel that we will be doing for the next couple of days. So, I will be bringing this one. And then, I have here the... I have here the sweat sweater or the sweatshirt from the knitted one from Primark. This one uh, came from the Philippines, so I will be using this as well. It's a long trouser. The Primark pants. This came from the women's section because my hips are quite big, and they don't have this this kind of leathery leathery pants so I bought that for for this trip I'll be using my pants my gray pants I have here the brown shirt this is just a spare just in case we have some places to visit that that is not on the itinerary that I will be posting for the next few weeks I have here extra shirt just in case we have some places to visit aside from the one that's in itinerary. I have here the jacket from Primark. I'm a fan of Primark not because um, the one thing is it's cheap in Primark and at the same time um, I think there's a lot of variety when it comes to styling. Just let me know guys in the comment section if you know some other brands that has a variety of options for us to use or for us to style. Because the problem is there are some brands that is quite popular in the Philippines that I don't feel like uh, it's just a so-so when it comes to their release of of outfits so I feel like okay I'm, I'm I'm much more comfortable in buying in Primark but I'm just gaslighting it <laughs> the main reason why it's cheap there but I found out that there's a cost in region region section or region area in London so I might visit that in some other time okay the next one I have here the white pants you will just see this outfits in my Instagram account and of course in our vlogs if we do the vlog for the next couple of days since I will be wearing all of this because I'm not a fan of bringing extra clothes like too many extra outfits I like to plan everything since I have the itinerary with me so I planned everything oh we will visit this we will visit that so I already planned what to bring to ensure that I have extra space for other stuff as well. And I will be bringing the black shirt. And I'm really fan of color. Loud. Loud shirts. Loud polo. Loud long sleeves. So I have here the long sleeve that I will be wearing when we visit Disneyland. I just don't know if it's a day one or what. And I bought two Mickey Mouse shirt, but I don't think it will fit with Diana and for myself as well. So we might buy other Mickey Mouse t-shirt or any Disney t-shirt for, for our Disneyland trip. Maybe we'll buy on first date, so we'll just wear different clothes. So, I have here this one as well. And let me just get the stuff. Other stuff. And for the last outfit set, I have here the striped t-shirt. Since I wanted to look like a playboy <laughs> for one day in Disneyland. So, I'll be wearing this. I'll be wearing this as well. This came from Thailand. And the other colorful one that I've shown you. So those are the 
stuff that I that my parents and my brother bought in Thailand. Some cargo pants from ANF and another ANF pants as well. This is this is mom's pants. I just took it and bought it. I uh, brought it here in UK because I told you that my hips is quite big. So of course it will be quite rainy. Hopefully, Lord, please, I'm begging you, make it sunny for the next four days, so that I can enjoy and we can enjoy the France. So I have here my boots as well. So I'll be wearing these boots for two days, and the Adidas that I bought last month. There are three more Adidas, but I will be wearing and bringing two shoes only. The, the boots and this one. Okay. And of course, we need to bring our sunglasses. I have here the Sandoran um, glasses. It's a gift from my father. And I'm always bringing it whenever I, wherever I go. It's quite cold already, so I'll be bringing gloves. And of course, the other bits that we need to bring. Power bank, of course, it's really necessary because the phone for vlogging gets low bat easily. I have here the tripod there. You can't see it because you're standing with it. I will be bringing some yeah, of course, the usual thing, conditioner, shampoo, facial wash, I'll, I'm using this one, and the other one is, what's the name of that? I forgot, but I'm using another one for facial wash. I'm using this Q10 for my serum. There, like the moisturizer I have this one the Garnier for facial serum if you can see I don't know how to do this bits but yeah that's it and this one for my argan oil for the hair to keep my hair uh, fluffy and bouncy <laughs> and the uh, and of course I never go outside without even bringing umbrella because the main reason is the weather here is very unpredictable in five minutes like now it's sunny and then maybe after 10 minutes it will be rainy again and then sunny rainy like and so on and so forth so it's better for me to bring umbrella because I have this condition on where my frontal sinus is underdeveloped so I get sick easily especially if it's cold so lastly i will be discussing to you the requirements or the things that we need to read when it comes to the essential things for the eurostar so i will be discussing to you guys what are the necessary things that you need to bring in order for you not to miss anything and not to be worried that there might be something that they need to take out from your luggage okay first of course you need to book your ticket i will be putting down there the link for the eurostar so that you can book easily there are other apps as well that offers eurostar tickets but i but i think it's better for you to buy in their site in their website so you won't get worried at all Next, you must have the travel documents. You must have a valid passport to travel between UK and Europe, both for adult and children. And you you should bring your national art, your national ID, the BRP, and any other government IDs like like your driver's license. And of course, check your valid. Check your documents if they are valid, especially your visa and everything, the passport itself. So for the luggage, 
you can pack up up to p two pieces of luggage up to 85 centimeter long and one hand luggage so you can bring two pieces of luggage like the full big luggages and you can bring one extra hand carry bag there's no weight limit for your luggage but you must be able to lift and carry your bags safely on your own so that's the main thing you can bring everything regardless of weight as long as you can lift it and carry it by your own okay next thing is you can bring liquids through security as long as they are sealed no 100 ml limits here so you're allowed to bring everything just like for this one the shampoo is like 200 ml and they will allow it as long as it's sealed and you might need to declare goods to custom if you go above the duty-free allowances so just please take the more information I will be putting the link down there so that you won't be, uh, you won't be lost when it comes to goods that you need to declare and lastly check the live travel info 24 hours before you set off for any changes to ensure that you will be able to ride the exact train that you book and when you arrive please check your ticket to see what time we recommend you arrive at the station on some tickets you might also see what time our ticket gates close but it's important you come to the station early and not just before the gates close this is to make sure you have enough time for passport and security checks and for on board you might find out about food options there are food that offer uh, that they offer for a greener journey reusable cups will be given a warm welcome at our ba bar buffet so that's basically it guys. I do hope that you will be looking after for all the vlogs that we will be posting for the next couple of weeks. I am really excited to visit France. This will be my first out of the country here in Europe because we've traveled Bath, Scotland and some other places like of course London and any other places here in UK. But we haven't been able to tour around Europe, but now we have the visa, so we will not be worried about anything. I'm just hoping that the weather is nice for the next couple of days. Hopefully it will be sunny so that we will not be worried of how to properly flaunt and slay our outfits and of course to share everything to you guys because I really want to enjoy this experience with you so if you guys want to follow the channel itself please do subscribe click the subscribe button down there if you guys have any more questions in advance do not forget to comment down in the comment section and if you guys like the video please do click that like button down there so that we will be reaching more people to help Thank you so much guys for understanding and I do hope to see you on our next Couple of Paris vlog. Bye-bye!